Hey guys, very good evening to all of you. Welcome to the video number 517. My name is Ajay Parmar and you're watching youtube.com slash c slash Ajay Kumar Parmar and on this channel you'll find 517 videos on Excel, Excel VBA, MS Access and Access VBA, right? So recently I started a series on the Outlook VBA as well. So we are going to learn the Outlook VBA also, right? So in this, as you can see guys, this is the part number three. If you haven't watched the part number two and the part number one, please go and check the playlist Excel VBA connecting Outlook with Excel. You'll find there almost 48 videos on connectivity with the Outlook, right? From the MS Excel, right? So in this video, what we are going to do is I'm going to show you that how you can go in the Outlook. I'm not talking about the Excel guys, okay? We will go and write the VBA in the Outlook. Many people think that VBA by default refers to the Excel. It is not exactly, you know, that way because you have the MS Word VBA, you have the MS Outlook VBA, you have the Access VBA, you have the Excel VBA, you have even the PowerPoint VBA guys. And all these programmings are quite different because all the applications have the different structure, right? So I'm going to uh, today show you how you can, whenever you have any f email coming on your, you know, this inbox, you can quickly go and move that email in any of your folder, provided some criteria for example if you think that uh, the email coming from abc sender you know it should always go in some particular folder or maybe if the email contains some specific subject it should automatically go to the second folder you know the second folder means the folder you have created how you can do that using the outlook vpa right so let's go and talk about that and before i jump on to that thing this is the playlist sequence for you you guys can go and uh, you know watch the videos if you are interested in learning excel vba ms excel or access frontend or access vba this is the sequence you should follow right because i keep getting the request that there are so many videos so people get confused which video we need to watch first which category which playlist we need to watch first so this is all about the Excel VBA, this is about the Excel, this is about the Access Frontend, and this is about the Access VBA. So let us go ahead and now open the Outlook. Now this is my Outlook guys, and now here I'm actually going to write a program which should take my all the emails, the fresh emails which are coming, uh, if they are meeting the criteria, which means that if they are coming from some specific center, they should go here in this dummy folder where right now I have just created you I have just got only two emails right so this is what we are going to do now the first uh, thing is that uh, how will you communicate this to VBA that the email has arrived right this is as such uh, I mean uh, from the uh, from programming perspective from the uh, like if you're thinking that you can create some button and you know you click on that button and the macro run well you know the thing is uh, in the outlook like in this particular case you know you you cannot create the button right well there are a lot of other uh, methods which i will not talk about but the idea what i'm saying is how vba will come to note the email has come because email can come any any time in your inbox you know it can come uh, after five minutes ten minutes thirty minutes so we want to track this whenever the email comes automatically your macro should run so that is why we are going to make a program which we are going to you know find under the event so you go to the developer tab you hit on the visual basic and here you see that this outlook session you don't have to go to the modules guys right because module is a place where we write the standard programs this is the place this outlook session uh, where we can choose all the different different events from here the moment you just go and select the application and when you select the application, you see that there is some subroutine which is coming by default over here, right? So I'm just gonna show you that. So if you look at this here, you see so many drop downs, right? In the coming videos also, we are going to talk. We are going to talk about all these events one by one. Now, in this case, if you if you're looking, what are these, uh, you know, sort of drop downs? Now, these are all called the events. Events are the self-triggered macros, which means that if I say that when the moment you know the item loads, so the, when you are going to load the item, that means that that this macro will run. Now, what is the item load? That's altogether a different chapter. For example, if you the item sent so if you're going to send some email and you want that there's a there has to be some macro which should automatically run then you write under you know this event called item sent in in our case what we are going to do we are we're going to select the new mail 
ex there are two events here new mail and new in uh, new mail x so you must select new mail x right so when, when you're going to select your you know even like this so this is what you get to see now you can see that there is a already macro which vb has created this is the my private macro which has a name called application underscore new mail i had talked about this in my previous video also if you haven't watched that video please go ahead and watch that video i think video number 515 where we actually learned how to export the email information in the excel like the message the subject line you know and the who uh, has forwarded that email and uh, what was the date when the email you know came in your inbox so uh, you can go ahead and guys watch that video have fun there so in this video i just simply want to say that if the email is coming from let's say center called ajay Pama, then that should go to you know this folder called the dummy folder which i have created inside my inbox so how we are going to do that so this event this macro will run whenever you have a new email in your inbox you don't have to run this this will automatically run and if you look at this entry id collection which they have created now this is a parameter this entry id collection is going to give you the that emails information right there, there, there is an id which is going to come you know which is going to be generated whenever you receive any email there will be a unique id which we are going to call it as refer refer it you know as entry id collection so we will capture that thing right so first of all i will go and define my email so you're going to tell your ear uh, that this is your email my let's say underscore mail now to define the mails if you have seen my channel the uh, if you have seen the playlist called excel we be connecting outlook with excel you must be familiar with the you know all those videos uh, i think there are 47 48 videos on, on that on the outlook right so you know that we whenever we want to define whenever we want to work with the mails we can use this we use actually this mail item class this is mandatory for you right so when you define your my mail like this guys what happens your my mail my underscore mail this object which i have created it is going to be considered as your email right so this is the first thing we are going to do the second thing i'm going to do is you have to define your folder where this email should go if it is coming from this particular center or maybe if it has if it contains this particular subject line right so for that you are going to use um, a library a class called namespace and this is how we write outlook dot namespace right and then you need to define this set ons equals to new outlook and then you're going to write here uh, sorry not the new but just you just write outlook application get namespace and then message application platform interface this is how we write it right so map is a word uh, it's not anything you i mean you can't write anything here this is a vba reserved word so make sure you write this mapi only right so once you have done that now this basically what is it i again explained why uh, uh, let me explain this again i have actually explained this in my many of the videos uh, basically this is a library where you uh, will find all the outlook folders so whatever you create you create your own folders like i have created dummy important or you talk about the by default folders guys in the outlook like inbox draft sent related everything you'll find in this library in this class namespace so there is a method of doing that so once you define these two lines ons as namespace and mapi uh, you can go and say that what is my folder so my folder is going to be outlook dot folder and then i just go and write set folder equals to ons dot get default folder right now you see if you are not going to use ons as namespace you can never use get default folder method and that is why we actually have mentioned this ONSS outlook namespace because it opens the gates for me for for me means as a user for you know for for the developers to go and access all the folders now this is what i'm going to use so get default folder which folder i have created the dummy folder as you can see uh, you know under the inbox so i'm just going to say that please go in the inbox but in the inbox then further go and you know capture the folder which i'm going to write here dummy so in this way now when the vb is going to run this line your folder will definitely be set as your dummy right so now what we are going to do well whenever the email comes you want to make sure that 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 particular fresh email we should check that if it is coming from this sender or maybe if it is coming with this 
you know the subject line that's all up to you i do not know what sort of requirement you want but you can do whatever you want so here now what we will do we will go and write the condition which is if my email the sender so i'm going to write here if my underscore mail you know dot sender let's say the sender email address is going to be equals to one well as you can see i my my you know in my let's say i will uh, to show you this you know how it works i'll send the test mail so my id is ajay.pamar1981 at outlook.com now guys make sure you write this in the correct case so i just want to write here in the small the way it is coming because i'm not sure whether the if functions are case sensitive in the uh, outlook vb or not in excel vba they are case sensitive so you have to take care of it in access vba they are not case sensitive and uh, um, I hope in the coming time Microsoft will also make the A functions, you know, in the VBA case insensitive, right? So in the Outlook, I'm not sure, but I'm just go going to use this 1981 as it is. So I'll take care of all this, you know, the uppercase, lowercase. So I write here that if the sender name is going to be ajay.pamaroutlook.com, then then what we are supposed to do? Well, then guys, the, that email which we have captured that should go to that should move to where so dot move is a method which you are supposed to use so when you press dot move you can see that it clearly says destination folder so what is your destination folder well for me my destination folder is fol which i have already defined which is what which is a part of your inbox and the name of that folder is dummy guys right i hope this video is sounding pretty awesome to all of you right and i hope i am clearing every doubt every question which 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 is coming right now in in your mind right so i'm trying to explain everything i'm trying to you know put myself into your shoes so that when you when i watch some video you know and how i actually uh, try to understand the things so i'm already telling you all the things right so my email dot move dot move is a method which comes with the email right because obviously you can move the emails you can you know draft the emails you, you can you can do so many stuff in the front part of the outlook so same uh you know the same uh, the, the uh, those same methods those those same actions which you do in the front part without the coding if you can do that in the front part obviously in the back end also you can do that so that's how it is right so once this is done now we we are going to run this program but before i do that how will you ensure that the email which is coming that is the email which is going to move you know because nowhere have defined you there are so many emails guys here so how will VBA will, uh, you know, capture that the email which is coming just now, that's the email I'm talking about. So to do that, you have to define your email also after writing this line. Then my mail as Outlook email item. So here you're going to write this line. Set my mail equals to application dot session and then dot get, get the item from the ID get the item from the id means i want to get that mail from you know by by knowing its id so what is that id well that id is going to come from entry id collection which is going to come from your you know one of the parameters which is here which is here so what what exactly we are saying this event when this is going to run this is going to run whenever you have a fresh email coming in your inbox you don't have you don't have to take care of it right so whenever the email comes if you receive 50 emails in a day that means 50 times this macro will fire will run so when the email comes that, that is going to be you know that is going to have some id which is this id and that's what we are saying that now your email should refer to that id collection and there is this is the reason when you write here my mail dot move this email will be preferred which is coming from this entry id collection as simple as that guys right so now let's do one thing let's go and do the testing i think we are done with this i quickly go here and create some email so i just go here new email this is my you know this uh, the person I'm, I'm gonna send this email so i'm sending this email actually to myself and here i'll write that my outlook code okay so the moment i send this let let us go ahead and check that so here let's keep an eye that uh, the, the moment you know the email comes this macro should immediately fire 
this macro right and because i have put the break code look at this guys it stops at the break code because i want to show you if you don't put the break code the macro will run in second and you user will not be even you know uh, uh, will be uh, user will not uh, come to know that there is some macro running because I put the break code I want to explain you now look at this so when you now run this automatically it is running because you can see in the background my email uh, has come which is my outlook code now this is in my inbox and this has to go to the dummy folder automatically so let's go and run this F8 now you see if I hover my mouse this I explained in my previous video also there is a uh, you know some ID which is generated or uh, it's a long ID we don't have to remember this of course we don't have to remember you don't even have to worry about it what is it let it be it's a, some unique number let's uh, understand in this way right but the point is what you need to understand is that when the email comes this entry ID collection captured the ID you know if this entry ID collection is giving me that unique number generated for this email and that is what i'm going to say here that my email is going to refer to that entry id collection which is coming from here and in this way now your email will be you can see that if i hover my mouse on the my underscore mail it clearly says my outlook code which is the same email and that's fantastic this is what i wanted to do it so now you know the sender email who is the sender well the sender is you can see here if i have it it says ajay.pama1981 so i have this ajay.pama1981 so what will happen now the email actually will go and move to the this folder which which we have defined here dummy now before i do that i want to make sure that if i just go and make this a in the capital let's see if outlook vba is case sensitive in the if cases or not right so i run this f8 oh there we go that's very sad you see that it is a case sensitive right so because uh, the sender is actually ajy you know it's in the small letter so i just go and change back to the small letter right so it it, it works like excel vb so now again i'm rerunning this right i have changed this i have changed the you know the upper case of this now let's see that so now you can see that it's the perfect case it's matching right it's everything in the small so now guys this mail should move to where should move to the dummy folder let's go and check that there we go and as you can see here the email actually disappeared from here fantastic so now the macro finishes now let's go to the dummy folder and see that so i select that and look at this guys this is coming here so this is fantastic right so this is how you can set up the rule in the vba also using this vba right in the front end also you can do that but in the vba also you know you can create this sort of thing now not necessarily that you write the sender email address uh, you can also write you know that if you if the subject line of the email for example you can use this my mail dot subject you know so my underscore mail dot subject you can use that also that if the subject contains or equals to this then move it or uh, if the email has this date then also move it you know so you can do a lot of lot of stuff with this so that's the end of this code and i just go and maximize this i hope you can see that and i hope i was able to explain you that so guys thank you so much for watching and please do subscribe to the channel have your question posted on the call you know on the channel on uh, right below this and please do like the video because when you like the videos it is you know it gives us a, you know it gives every youtuber actually a very uh, you know a great feeling and also it it uh, spe you know specifically about me it encourages me also to go and talk more on you know the different different topics the complex topics so please do like and do subscribe thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video